Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. Today's video is going to be a question and answer section. I made a part one of it before. If you have not watched it, I will drop the link up there. So go and look for the video and watch. It is important that when you're going to a new place, you ask question, you ask until you find the final answer to your question. So it will do you a whole lot of good to go watch the video and this particular video it would also do you a whole lot of good to watch it till the end the ones you skip might even be the one you needed an answer so stay glue and watch the video okay if you're just coming across this channel for the first time you're welcome and by be i make videos about moving into portugal either for study for visit or for tour if this is the kind of content that you've been searching for then you are in the right community welcome and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos okay thanks for the massive support as usual i'm going to be using my pad so whenever you see me looking down just know that i'm looking at the question and i will be answering you all the questions so the number one here is can I bring my spouse along with me <laughs> I think this person is trying to ask if while at the process of uh, processing the visa if he can process the spouse visa alongside the answer is no your spouse would not be given visa it is you that if you're a student you are applying for a student visa they will give you a visa and when you get into portugal you have to start making process for your wife one thing i've known about the portuguese is they don't joke with families when it comes to your family they don't joke with it and so when you as a student whether you're a master's student or a phd student when you get into portugal and you have your resident card then you now begin the process called family reunification or if you know you don't want to wait for the family reunification because the process is actually long you can use the second pathway which is the schengen visa so when they come in you now start changing the visa into the necessary one they want you to do the second question is paraventure everything goes well are there cheap schools for the kids <laughs> well when you come into portugal children do not pay school fees i mean if it's a public school they do not pay school fees my kids did not pay any school fees you don't pay school fees what you need to do is there is a <clears throat> like a local government they call it um um junta de frigesia then you do all your documentation your registration then search the moment you come into portugal that to an area just google schools near me you see schools will pop out the closest one to you is the one you should go to just go there that was what we did when we came into portugal we searched and we got schools and we went to the school and told them this is our situation what you need to take along with you is your the children's passport that's the if you are from nigeria the nigerian passport and every document their birth certificate like what we did we took their results along with us so they could know their classes but let me tell you if you're from nigeria definitely we are faster so they will definitely return the kids back okay with their age mates they have to be in the same class with their age mates so don't be discouraged when that happens to your child well <laughs> it's they will fit in they are going to blend okay so schools are free for kids you don't pay in fact if you're a student they even feed them in the school yes they give them lunch you don't pay for that we don't pay for that so these are one of the benefits of studying in portugal so let me go to the third question this third question is the most frequent question i'm always receiving in my mailbox 
are there jobs in Portugal? <laughs> I answered it in my previous question and answer section, but I'm going to answer it again. The truth is, I see it that there are jobs for students, okay? Like, the COVID have even made it much easier for students. Like, you can get a sit-at-home job. And if fortunately you get a sit-at-home job, you work from the comfort of your home and when it is time for your school, that's time for your study, you can excuse yourself and go for your, do your class. Mostly some classes are online, so it's an added advantage. To me, there are jobs, okay? When you search for job, sit at home job, you would get. And if it's for the factory jobs, you can you would also get in some specific areas okay not just all areas some specific areas okay i know some people will be asking when you come to portugal because this is what people really want when you come to portugal am i going to get job immediately the question the answer is you might be lucky yes depending on the area that you are staying but if you're staying in uh, staying at areas that um, there are no much English sp English speakers, it should be difficult for you because w the means of communication will be a barrier number one. But if you're staying in the places like Lisbon, Porto, these are where you meet Nigerians, you meet English speakers, Algarve, you meet international people there. Okay, but when you come immediately don't think you're going to get job because the number one criteria for you to get job is a resident card you need a resident card when you get a resident card then the rest assured just be coming down okay when you get a resident card then you are yes you are like 70 percent 80 percent gone that you definitely get something doing i'm sure this job would help one it helps okay when you get the job you'll be rest assured that you're fine the fourth question is are there racism in portugal <laughs> well i don't i've never experienced one at all i've not come across anyone i'm not trying to say there are no racist but i've not come across one when you go to hospitals when you go they are ready to help the portuguese people are friendly people they are ready to help you they are ready to 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 assist you okay when you come in even if you don't know how to speak they will try but some of them would refrain they might not really want to talk to you it's not because they hate you it's not because they hate your color but it's because they don't know how to communicate with you i've not met one i've not seen one they are always ready to help but one thing they love to do is they can stare they can stare at you eh so they are not resisting i've not seen anyone the fifth question here says can my wife work while I study? <laughs> yes. The moment you bring your wife into Portugal and she gets a resident card, she would be permitted, she's permitted to work, okay? She can take a full-time job and support you. Like I said earlier, Portuguese don't joke with family. The want a situation whereby your wife would or your husband would support you so that you would not lack. In fact, it is advisable that the moment you get your resident card, just begin to work your work the process for your husband or your wife to come in so that they can support you. When two of you are working, okay, your income will definitely increase and your family you know you'll be stable so bringing in your spouse would really help you a lot the next question says is portugal an expensive place <laughs> i've received this question severally and i'm answering it well comparing um, portugal with other european countries i would say portugal is not an expensive place when you talk of food when you compare the accommodation with other european countries you find out that portugal is an affordable place well 
you know, I think if you compare the minimum wage of Portugal with other countries, European countries, you find that it is low. But I think these Portuguese, they have made it in such a way that it measure up with the economic. So when you come in, you know how to manage your money and it would be enough for you to do whatever you want to do. So I would say Portugal, living in Portugal is not expensive comparing it with their minimum wage because I think they have evaluated everything and they see it working well for their own citizen. And so if you come in from Nigeria, you would know how to measure up and cut your clothes according to your clothes, not even according to your size, okay? The next question before me here says, by the how much is the minimum wage currently? Okay, currently it's now 705 euros. Before now it used to be 635, but right now, I think from January this year, it's changed to 705 euros. I'm sure a lot of people say it's too low. Well, <laughs> that is how it is here. Yeah, the minimum wage is 705. I think they know what they are doing. They have compared their economic and seen that it fits their citizens. So that is it. Another question is, can I work and study at the same time? Yes, I think your question should have been, am I permitted to work and study? Yes, for a master's student or for a, a PhD student, you're permitted to work and study at the same time, but it depends on the language course. For example, when I got admission, I got job also, and I was doing the both at the same time, but it got to a time that I could not take do the two together because the language course is in Portuguese and I found it difficult to work and study at the same time. So it depends on you. If you know you can do it, like for example, those that would be, their courses would be both in Portuguese and in English. <laughs> you can do it, you can work because even the citizens themselves, they work and study at the same time. So you can do it if you know you can. But for those that their language course will be in Portuguese, it might be very difficult for you to do the two at the same time but <laughs> grace differs okay and you know your courses also might also differ yeah so the final question here is are there african stores in portugal <laughs> yes i made a video on that already we have one i think we have many of them in Lisbon, we have in Porto, we have another one in Aveiro, Mike City, and I don't know other places, but these three cities, I know there is an African store. You get things from Angola, from um, Mozambique, you know, from other African countries, okay? When you come down here, you get the same food like the ones you get from Nigeria, okay? We have plenty blacks also, although they are not Nigerians, but we have many blacks here in Portugal. Yes, I could go on and on and on and answer a lot of questions. And I'm sure this was an answer and the previous one would help a lot of people who have questions that they need to answer. If you have not watched the video, go and watch the video, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the post notification so that you would always be notified whenever I put up any video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. Bye. Ciao.